out to my colleagues. I pass it out to um, Mr. Early. Mr. Early, we can prove and then get me the video. Have it been lost? Have you seen it? You know she lying. I feel sorry for her. I'm a union person. God bless her. I'll forgive her. I say give her another chance. But she done lied on an elected black official. And you done reacted and put an emergency monitor order in place and got me looking stupid all across the city. You owe me an apology. You owe my mama an apology. You owe my daddy an apology. Because Pastor May's name meant something. He was a 33rd degree Mason. We built Shiloh Commons. Let me say this as I get ready to close because I stopped at Alonzo Goodman. I'm going to say this, Mr. Dumas, the truth will make you free. You say it shall make you free. It will, it shall, whatever it do, it ain't never sent you to that other place. I can kill me now and I can go to heaven. I believe it. I believe it. Chris Del Maroney. Chris Del Maroney. You say you hadn't had no mail since January the 4th. You talked about that asset called a parking structure. You came up here with a shovel, brother. I remember how it feel on that side of the mic, Chris, and you bring tears to my eyes. It ain't just about black and white. It's about wrong and right. You right, Chris. I'm going to tell you this. Mr. Wilson, you shouldn't cuss, though. You know, I be wanting to cuss sometimes, but what can I say? You know... I came in here with two felonies. What I'm going to resign for misdemeanors. So I know you, we can't be Jesus. I, 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 I don't cuss. Don't cuss, Mr. Wilson. I've seen the police coming up on you. If you get ready to cuss, guess what? Get ready to go to jail sometime, just like I do. But sometime when you protest and go to jail and you don't cuss like I do, <laughs> they'll understand it better in the morning time. I still got that live case over in Nethercourt. court. It's time to pick up on it. Howard Croft, let them arrest me. I helped a whole lot of people during the power outage. I helped a whole lot of people get s during the snowstorm. Howard Croft, God bless you, man. Miss Inez Brown, if I say your name and look that way, I'm crying. They don't know how well I know the people in this community. I'm going to shut up before I make myself cry, because when I cry, I'm for real. I'm <laughs> Reverend Threlkill, I heard what you said the last time. You sent a written request through Ms. Brown as a respected pastor in this community, and it went to Mr. Early. I don't think he know Pastor Fuller. I don't think he really, oh, yes, he do. He know Reverend uh, Marvin Jennings because of that paper that was signed, the letter for our training and orientation session. Then they told me the next Sunday he was over there at Grace Emanuel. But he don't know all the pastors like we do. I don't know how well he know Randolph. I know Pastor Stewart going to tease me and say, hey, Maze, I heard you. Were there. That's how he do pastors all through the first ward. I'm going to close like this. The first ward will probably have its first first ward meeting next Monday at a church in the first ward. The first ward will have a ward meeting once a month, and it will operate under Robert's Rules of Orders. And we hope that we'll have 100, the 200, the 300 first ward residents there. And I'm here to tell you, I hope that the other wards and their residents get jealous because we're going to be organized in the first ward. We will have a ward chairperson, our co-chair to meet. We'll have secretaries, treasurers. We'll raise money. We'll buy zero-turn lawnmowers, and we won't wait on the land bank to cut our grass. We got support of residents and businesses, and we'll be organized within our ward. I encourage people to follow suit because I didn't run for fellowship. I ran for leadership. And I've been a leader ever since I've been elected in the UAW. It didn't matter which UAW brothers broke ranks, Scott, Norwood. Y'all didn't endorse me, but we beat y'all. And we're going to continue to beat you because if you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, you're right. And I'm not going to sit here 
I could be one person, man, and the moves y'all make is so obvious to the public, it don't make sense, man. Why would you stand with an emergency manager with a fraudulent affidavit and he says he wants me to resign because I'm violating emergency manager order number two and Josh violated it when he left and didn't stay up through it out the whole meeting last time, but they didn't ask Josh to resign. Y'all verbally communicating, you, Josh, and BB, Nolan, that's why y'all ain't got nothing to say now. We are struggling to get something to say, but y'all meeting and talking behind the scenes all day long, so that's why you ain't got to say nothing now. We, we got access. The Blue Ribbon Committee, I wouldn't care if it were red, blue, or green. The charter says this, Mr. Early. When we change our charter, it's by a vote of the people. Remember, you slipped up, sir. You gave me a, well, you didn't give it to me, but the press gave me a copy of a press release. It's got your signature on it. Guess what you said, Mr. Early, in this press release? You said I took the same oath of office as the mayor and the council people. You know what my oath of office say? I live up to the Constitution of the United States, the state of Michigan, and the charter of the city of Flint. So if you said in writing and signed it that you took the same oath of office, hello, hello, can I get my due process, sir? Can I prove that Sherry of staff has submitted a fraudulent affidavit? And if anybody else give you an affidavit and say something about me, will you and Scott and the rest of them give me a courtesy to ask me if it's true before you go to embarrassing me in the public arena? Hey, I appreciate y'all staying. It's a hell of, heck of a first council meeting. And guess what? One thing that didn't God and bless me with, Reverend Thrill Kill, is once they gave me the voice, guess what? I said it on my literature. It's something to win in these elections. The way I got to communicate here today, if I never said another word, it was a great day being a councilman in the city of Flint. And remember what they say in church. If you just can't say another word, just wave your hand. God bless you, city of Flint. We going to fix Flint. I know how to fix the jobs. I don't call it Amway. I call it Flintway. I know how to help um, bridge cards turn into credit cards. See, when you help 30, 40, 50,000 people get checks, they quit stripping houses and they start building up houses. Remember, if we get income tax and property tax going, somebody got the leads. And let me say this, Mayor Wallen, because you can't be off the hook. You was in the room with them. You wanted me to resign too. If, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm say this. If you ain't careful and I articulate solutions and help people get checks and prove that I ain't crazy, and help clean up crime with undercover officers. In two years from now, they're going to automatically nominate me for a position. So believe me, brother, I ain't joking and I ain't playing. This is the real world, and I'm telling you the least of them, those who are elderly and the least of them, that's who I'm in it for. And not only will I talk about it, I get knocked upside the head. I get beat up by killer police. I will die for it. And guess what will happen? I believe I can go to heaven. I believe I can go to heaven. I believe it will be a big funeral. If I tell y'all somebody threatening me, and there's people in cahoots against me, you can let them kill me, or you can protect me. God bless you, and thank you. Okay, there are, well, I just have one comment real quick. Um, a lot of concern about blight and demolition in the city of Flint. Everybody heard and read about the money that we've received from the federal government. I just want to report that the land bank has started releasing um, 100 properties to contractors, and they're going to continue to do that. So we should start to really see some demolition. Excuse me some demolition in the city of Flint uh, in the next few weeks and, and continue until 
between 1,600 and 1,800 structures um, are removed, and I just wanted to, to report that out. We have no resolutions this evening. There are two ordinances. Um, I'm going to be appointing a legislative committee, and I... Mr. Mr. Chair, I'd, I'd Mr. President. I'm, Mr. Mays, I'm speaking. I'm not done yet. I didn't interrupt you, please. But that's how it works. If you got something to say, you try to interrupt. If you don't give me the flow, I'd be quiet. But when you finna appoint some, that's what I'm trying to speak on. So don't appoint until you give me a shot. I got something relevant to say. Excuse me. You, you may want to wait till after I appoint. No, no. I want to speak before you appoint. Okay. Um, we have the two ordinances, and I believe Mr. Babe would like those postponed for 60 days. That's correct. So. Okay, so could I get a motion to postpone ordinance 130343.2? So move, I move to postpone that ordinance. And also ordinance 130344.4. You want them both at the same time? Yeah. Well, so move. Because they, they go together and they're, um, one's a zoning. So Mr. President? They've been moved and supported. Councilman Neely and then yes. support. I'll come back. Yeah, yeah ju just so the public know what ordinances are being postponed, could the uh, attorney please briefly describe the ordinances as being postponed briefly? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Could you just briefly uh, describe the ordinances as being postponed so the public would know what we're postponing? Sir, these are two ordinances. One is for the regulation of medical marijuana dispensaries and the other is a companion zoning ordinance that goes with the regulation of medical marijuana dispensaries. Uh, the medical marijuana ordinance includes uh, a new department that has been established, but uh, there's still some stuff to do so that we can properly administer the ordinance. Uh, once this is adopted, we anticipate an immediate uh, response from dispensaries, and we want to ensure that uh, the city is prepared to address uh, anybody that comes in the door. I have no problem with the postponement. I just wanted the audience to know. Mr. President. It's been moved and supported, Mr. Mays. Yeah, so. I guess the motion to postpone or the, 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 the want to postpone it came from probably the emergency manager, the city attorney, because the legislative committee ain't been meeting. So, so regardless of where it came from, <laughs> look like we're going to postpone it. Could you have me um, through you to the emergency?